What's up everyone? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Otherwise, welcome back. Today we're going to be continuing our little series on an introduction to each of the snakes in our collection by introducing you to our piebald female, Sona. So thanks for tuning in and stick around. I just want to start off by actually apologising if I sound a little funny today. Um, I am just recovering from a bit of a flu or cold bug um, and I didn't want to miss the opportunity to actually uh, record a video because my family and I are actually going away on holiday pretty soon. Um, we're planning on visiting Orlando, Florida. So um, please bear with me and hopefully I don't sound too grim. <laughs> so, Sona is a piebald royal python and she is het for exanthism. Now, if you watched our last video, you'll remember that het simply means that she has one of the two required genes in order to represent visually the exanthic gene. So, Sona's boyfriend is going to be set who you may remember from a previous video, who is a double visual exanthic piebald. And the two of them together will hopefully make some drop dead gorgeous babies. Because Set, her to be boyfriend, is actually a double visual exanthic pied, it means that any babies that Sona and he would produce would have a 100% chance of expressing the piebald gene and a 50% chance of expressing the exanthic gene. So Sona here was actually purchased from a really nice guy called Stephen Deer over at Worcester Morphs here in the UK and bless him, he didn't actually want to sell her um, but at the end of the day I made him an offer that he couldn't refuse and I'm so glad that I did because just look at how beautiful she is. Now, in contrast to the exanthics and the, the hopeful offspring that she'll produce, you can see that Sona actually has this gorgeous golden color um, on the actual piebald saddles that you see here. And in, in contrast to her boyfriend, Set, he, he instead shows these gorgeous silvers and, and gray tones. So Sona's birthday was actually June 2021. Um, so that puts her at almost a year and a half old now. And at her last weighing, which was just at the end of September, um, so two weeks ago from the recording of this video, uh, Sona's weight was just over a thousand grams. All right, she is one zero. One eight point eight. Oh, hello. <laughs> so she's broken through this thousand gram wall that a lot of breeders do seem to struggle with. Now, both of my females that have crossed that mark, so Sona and Sidrani, have actually both been phenomenal eaters and they've never, never come up against this elusive thousand gram wall. Um, thank goodness. But um, because of her size, I am hopeful that possibly towards the back end of uh, this year's season, Sona might actually be ready to start pairing. So um, if I'm targeting at around about 100 gram gain per month, then I'd maybe be looking at kind of February-ish, uh, where I'd maybe look to start pairing her. So as far as personality goes, Sona's definitely a bit of a live wire, so she's being incredibly good whilst recording this video, but actually she is the first of our snakes that actually bit me. Um, now, for a first snake bite it did come as a bit of a shock, 
But it was not long after we actually got her and, and integrated Sona into our collection. And she was still very much getting used to me, getting used to her surroundings. And I think I just gave her a bit of a fright, uh, which led to her actually just giving me a little bit of a nip. Um, but even aside from that, Sona's still, um, well, she's she's got a personality about her. You know, if I'm in a cage and cleaning her out and things like that, if she doesn't want me there, she lets me know and she'll give me a pretty strong hiss and maybe even uh, uh, kind of a mock strike, so to speak. Now, as you can probably tell from just seeing Sona in this video, she is super, super curious, definitely interested in what's going on around her and not some and not a snake that's particularly shy. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, that's actually a fantastic trait because she's also always been a really good eater. Um, she will skip meals during shed and things like that, but for the most part, she, uh, she eats really fantastically. So as with the rest of our long-term snakes, um, Sona is kept in a vivarium, um, just like the ones behind me, uh, just on the other side of the room. So I'm just gonna take the camera across now and give you guys a little peek inside her viv. So in Sona's tank, over on the right hand side, we do have this almost uh, nesting type hide. Now we do use this as a humid hide, so just inside, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, there is some moss in there just to try and keep the humidity up. She has this cork tube as well as a bit of a hammock and a branch for climbing on. And just like Sijuani and the other snakes, even though royal pythons aren't arboreal, she definitely makes the most of actually uh, seizing those climbing opportunities uh, and uses those as hides. And she's got a nice big water dish. And she does actually make the most of that water dish for soaking and, and uh, assisting herself with any stuck shed. And then over on the far left, there's a nice large hide just there. Now, Sona is actually the only one of our snakes which I have actually seen bathe uh, by choice in her water dish. But this is it for her setup. So, uh, Sona and the project that we actually have planned for her, along with Set to make these exanthic piebald royal pythons, is actually the whole reason that I actually fell in love with royal pythons. So, going down the exanthic pied route is kind of the second path that you can go down on the route towards that perfect black and white snake. So rather than achieving those gorgeous whites by mixing in kind of desert ghost and firefly and clown um, to it to achieve that black and white contrast, piebald is the other way to it. When I first actually acquired Sona, I actually um, I forgot that she was going to be nearly a yearling when she arrived with me. So when she arrived and she was kind of 400 grams-ish. I was actually really pleasantly surprised by the size on her and, and knew that that meant that there was a, a potential for actually bringing forward the breeding plans that we had with her. Um, so we were really, really happy about that. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Um, straight after this I'm going to be recording another one, so through the wizardry that is YouTube and editing and all of that good stuff. Um, I'll see you guys in a second, but you'll see me next week. Um, if you did like today's video, please leave a comment. Let me know what did you like, what did you not like. If you have any requests for future content, just let me know. And uh, we'll certainly try and oblige if we can do. Uh, but that's all for now from RNG Reptiles. Thank you once again, and stick around. Oh, and don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends.